Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Run the Foot Market. I have a banging new video for you guys all today. It's going to be a good one and I'm going to start doing these kind of videos for the next few days. You guys are going to see these. This is my take on investments um, coming up for you guys and, and FIFA 19 is just around the corner. We know we've been doing prep videos on the channel. I did not have an upload yesterday, um, but we did have two uploads the other day talking about ones to watch and then my final FIFA 18 club tour. If you guys want to go check those out, they are on the channel um, as well. We've been uploading some stream highlights to that second channel which is going to be in the link in the description below if you guys want to hit that we're almost at a 1000 subs over there thank you guys for the support on this channel recently it has been a lot um and i know you guys are excited and we're going to get into it so today's video guys is going to be my top five medium to high medium to high budget investments for fifa 19 and let me just specify that these investments are going to be cards that are gold cards ranging from anywhere in a fluctuation between 20 25k to about 200k that that's kind of the idea of what these cards will be there's going to be one guy in here that's a little bit expensive and that's why i'm throwing in that high budget but these are going to be my top five investments for the first two weeks we're talking gold cards because we don't obviously know obviously none of us know special cards in fifa 19 so like we don't know who's going to play well but these are guys these guys are my guys that are either going out of packs we're going to have an extreme amount of hype and are going to shoot up now just to give you all the history of people watching the video the market every single year peaks about October 5th, October 8th. It's always somewhere in that date. And that's basically the two week point of when the full game is released. It basically is a lot of people come, come onto the game. The market starts to surge up and that's kind of how it works. It, it, it makes sense, right? You have a lot of people coming onto FIFA and a lot of people start to buy players and then they earn coins. And eventually there is like a market peak where there, there's the first week in the game in October and everything flies the hell up. So that's kind of the idea. So all of these players, in my opinion, will are, are, are players that I'm giving you guys that are going to go up a lot, um, and they're going to be sells at that point. But these players are players that I would like you guys to look at on early access or things like that. Uh, web app period, if you can get on them, get on them. Um, or even the first two days of the full game being out, if, you, if they're still relatively cheap, get on them because they will go higher. Um, these players are five players that have a ridiculous amount of hype that are either out of packs or things like that. I'm going to be doing a low budget one on this on this channel tomorrow. Uh, for, my, for my top five kind of low budget guys, but the guys that are still going to go up, so those guys will be probably under 20k, somewhere in there. If you guys enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up, and let's get into it. Guys, my first one is going to be Malcolm for Barcelona. He's going to be coming in at number five. I did kind of order these. It's not 100% like one's going to be like necessarily a lot better than the other, but I do think that I'm valuing these in, in order. Uh, I expect his gold card to not be cheap. Uh, you know, he's a four-star, four-star player. Uh, he was kind of cheap this year, but I got to tell you, man, He's going to Barcelona. He's a Brazilian boy. He's going to have a lot of hype, this guy. I don't think people realize how potentially overpowered this card could be. I look at it like this. Douglas Costa was an 82 rated last year. Uh, 82 rated, I believe. He had more pace, but realistically, I don't know if he had as much hype. And he's playing in the Calcio So I think playing for Barcelona is that elite status. Now, the reason why I really like this guy and I have him at my number five, he's going to be going out of packs. This guy is totally getting a once to watch card. Um, so he is going to be going out of packs for a week in the beginning of the game and you combine that with a long long period of hype You know because this is a new player and I've spoken to a lot of people regarding this transfer A lot of people are really excited man This is a very big transfer for Barcelona and this is a big th player that I think a lot of people are going to want to use in FIFA Ultimate Team I really feel like this is a player that a lot of people are going to have their eyes on as trying out um, And he's also you got to understand man. It's not only like he's Barcelona. He's very easy to link with players You can link him with Gabby Jesus in the Prem there, when, you, when you're Brazilian in FIFA, you have almost endless links. So I think that he offers linkage uh, to a lot of players in FIFA. I think that this is going to be a card that you guys are going to see in a lot of teams. You can flex him to a right mid, obviously a right wing, a right forward. He's going to fit the job, and I think you're going to see a lot of this card in teams next year. So I think you're going to see early on, especially early on. We're talking early on investments. These are not full game, full year investments. Obviously, all these goal cards as we get a few months into the games, aren't that relevant anymore as people start to get their super teams and make a lot of coins. However, I think that Malcolm's going to be a problem as an investment early on. I think he's going to rise up a lot. So that's why I have him as number five. All right, guys, coming in at number four. Now, I just wanted to let you guys know that not all of these ratings are 100% certain or official. I just kind of put them where I thought they would be around this year. They're going to be within the rating of one to two of whatever I put them in. So plus one, plus two, plus minus one, minus two. Number four, we have Kellyan Mbappe, um, and a lot of you guys might think this one's a really expensive one, and this is a stretcher for a medium to high budget video. It's not a high, high budget video, but he's going to be very expensive. Um, I'm just giving you all the heads up. He is going to be really expensive next year, um, and he's going to be the most expensive player in this video by a long shot. 
This dude, man, is... Uh, I learned last year, and I was I was stupid last year. I didn't get in on the wave of Mbappe. Mbappe's 83 was 60K when the game came out. And I was just like, you know what? I can't see it going that much over 100. He ended up going up to about 160K, I want to say. He might have even hit 200. I don't remember. I know that this guy tripled last year. He did have a ones to watch. So that's going to be the unique part of this top five. He's not going to have a ones to watch this year. But I still wanted to tell you guys that I feel like this guy has... Playing, coming off that World Cup, being a, being a young boy and, and, and such a talent that he is, I think that this has got a lot of real-world hype, and a lot of guys, when they get FIFA 19, are going to want to play with Kylian Mbappe. I really think that this is something that I'm, I'm seeing right now as a guy that's going to go up a lot in value. I really, really like this card. I want to tell you guys that right now. I really enjoy this card as an investment, and I think you got to look at it like this. Mbappe is a, a, a signature for, or a... Uh, or a symbol for, I think, all French players. I think I think popular French players as we start this new FIFA are going to be higher than they've ever been. I think coming off winning the World Cup, you guys might think that's stupid, but I'm telling you right now, that's going to add a certain value to a lot of these players. So even if they're not out of packs, he's getting into my number four. I think that he's going to go up a lot, a lot, a lot when the full game comes out uh, and he's going to peak at that weekend league on October 8th. I don't know prices. I would assume that this card is probably somewhere in the 300 range. So you might be able to get him in the high 100s, 200s when early access is out. That's what I would assume. It's not 100% positive. I know last year he went from about 70 to I think like 150 or a little bit higher. And that was when he was in 83. He might have been 40 early on. I'm not 100% positive, but that's going to be my number four. Coming in at number three, guys, we have Roger Nangolan. Um, and this is a guy that year after year is the meta center midfielder. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, for my top five, Vidal just missed out. So Vidal was like number six, number seven. I just didn't stick him in here because, to be honest, I thought Malcolm being Brazilian and a little bit more affordable early on would they gather more hype. This dude right here is meta every single year. I will let you guys know. Nangolan is good, and I will repeat it. Every year, Nangolan is good in FIFA. Every single title, Nangolan is good in FIFA. Um, he's going to be playing with Inter Milan which got, has a lot of hype. He's going to be getting a ones to watch card next year. So Nangolan has a ones to watch. His gold card's going to be out of packs. Um, and that's going to make a lot of room for him to go up a lot of value. Now you're going to have arguably the most meta center midfielder in the game, right? You're going to have him. Uh, you're going to have him out of packs. You're going to have him as a new transfer. You're going to have Belgium who played well in the World Cup. You're going to have Ronaldo in the Serie A, which is the league that Nangolan plays in. This guy has a lot going for him next year in FIFA, FIFA 19. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving you guys a heads up. That this card has a lot of potential to rise in value. This guy is one of my favorites. That's why I've got him at number three. Um, he always does the job. You also have transfers at Inter Milan now that have a lot of hype. So you're going to have a lot of people using Inter as a team. Right? You're going to have a lot of people using Inter as a team. You guys got to understand that, man. This is a dude, right, who is a new transfer. His team just got third at the World Cup. And I know he didn't play at the World Cup. I know that. I know I know the comments are going to say... Big not going to the play at the World Cup. I'm telling you guys right now, it doesn't matter. It's the nation, right? So this guy has a lot going for him. It, I love transfers. I love cars. You guys know I love cars that go out of packs. As a price estimate, I would assume that he starts off early on being about 80 to 90K. He's going to be 200K out of packs. He might be 250 or 300. He's going to be out of packs. So last year, just to give you all perspective watching the video, right? Last year, he went from 80K, about there, 70, 80K, to about 220K. And he did not go out of packs last year. He did not have a ones to watch. So, this year, guys, the sky's the limit. Number three in my list for medium to high budget uh, early on investments, guys. Get involved with Nangolan. I really like it. Coming in at number two, I have Fabinho, a guy that I don't know if a lot of people are valuing as an investment. However, as a medium to high budget investment, this guy is one of my favorite. You cannot go wrong with Fabinho this year. I'm telling you right now. He's getting a once to watch. He's going to be out of packs. He's Brazilian in the Premier League. A CDM starting off in, in the Premier League that's better fa than Fabinho in FIFA, I can't think of, right? Fabinho's team of the season was great this year. He's pretty meta as a card. He's not a bad player. He's tall. He's got these, I mean, 74 pace for a holding midfielder for a six. 84 defending, 85 physical. This guy is a beast. And I also wanted to say this. Liverpool has, with Man City, one of the most, they're one of the most hyped teams in the world right now. So they have a lot of new fans and I know Liverpool fans or, or, or fans of the world, you might not want to hear that. They've got a lot of fans who are just starting to support Liverpool in the last year, right? Because they're a good team, right? So people are buying their cards and ultimate team. This is a thing. So you guys better start believing it. Fabinho's at my number two, right? You're talking Brazilian. You're talking out of packs. You're talking Premier League. When I talk investments, guys, 
Premier League is always the way to go. If you're looking at a team of the week, right, and you say, hey, Nick, who do I invest in? You know, should I invest in Danny Rosa's left back card or uh, or Peace Check's right back card? There, there's two teams of the week. I'm telling you guys Danny Rose every day of the week. Premier League is the way to go investment-wise. It's always the, the, the league that everyone's getting their players in uh in from so guys fabinho for me i i would say he's gonna probably early on be about 20 to 30k his gold card somewhere there and i expect him to rise 50 plus i would expect this to go 50 plus um and this is why he's more in the medium end not the high end but he's more in the medium end but still i think that this guy is gonna fly he's at my number two i know a lot of you guys know that i'm crazy about fabinho so it's gonna take a lot for me to tell you guys that somebody's going to beat him out at number one. But you guys will see who's at number one right now. All right, dudes. Number one, we have Leon Goretzka, ladies and gentlemen. Leon Goretzka. And I will tell you this much, guys. I never put a number one player in any kind of ranking that's usually outside of the Premier League or the La Liga or something like that, right? This guy's in the Bundesliga. Um, I got to tell you all right now, this is going to be very interesting this year. He's going to probably get it once to watch. I can't assume he's not going to. He's going to be out of packs. He's German. He's playing for Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich, it's different to be in the Bundes... Here's the deal. This is why I think it's at my number one, and it's not like, because to me, to me, guys, the Bundesliga last year was not great for investments, right? Not a popular league in FIFA. He's, Bayern Munich is not really the Bundesliga, if you get what I'm saying. Bayern Munich is its own thing. When you're playing for Bayern Munich, if you're if you're getting hybrids or, or a team together, you're linking players with Bayern Munich. It's, it's like that just that club in your team. You're not doing the Bundesliga route. So that's what I think for me. Apparently, he's going to be four-star, four-star next year, which for me, as a central midfielder, he's also 6'2". He was arguably in FIFA this year. I got to say, Goretzka arguably this year in FIFA was the most meta player, uh, most meta goal player this year in FIFA. He was ridiculous this year. Goretzka was crazy this year in FIFA. I can't assume he wouldn't be nuts next year. He's a central midfielder who's tall. He's going to have in the 80s of pace, basically almost all 80 stats as, uh, as, as face card stats. I would assume he's somewhere, I, he might be even 84 rated. I'm not sure if the rating's correct, guys. These are just... Uh, theoretical things I would assume he starts off being about 40 50 somewhere there maybe 60 he's got a lot more hype around him this year and I would expect he gets into the hundreds I I, I see Goretzka going into the hundreds um, he could go really 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 high obviously you guys are investing in these cards you guys want to sell by October 8th around there that time is really the good sell time Goretzka had made my number one guys just because of the four star four star I think that that's unbelievable as a card investment I think you guys got to get in on him. I I very rarely put a player higher than um higher than a premier league player in a, in a ranking like this but guys this guy for me has too much going for him next year he's gonna have ones to watch a again it's that out of packs effect we only had one player in this top five who's gonna be in not out of packs which is mbappe but i i'm saying i think his hype alone is gonna be something that carries him the reason why i didn't put cristiano ronaldo or neymar or things like that in this video is just because i just feel like those are really really high risk i feel like more to my viewers and more to me early on we're gonna be touching these kind of cards so, guys, if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up. I'm going to drop a low-budget one tomorrow. Um, if you guys have players in here that you want to give me that you think are going to fly up, let me know. This is my top five, right? You guys are listening to me, right? Top top 100, top 10, top 3, whatever you guys want to say. We just did 110 million chance profit. These are the guys I'm j being genuine, you guys. I'm trying to give you guys as many tips and things that I'm going to be buying. Because come web app time, come when the game's out, I'm not going to be sitting here tweeting out about cards to buy, right? This is all stuff that you know. When I'm making coins, these are probably the guys I'm making coins on. So these are my top five because I know that they're going to go up. I know that they're proven. I don't have to take risks with any of these five. I know that they're going to do well as investments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am so freaking excited for FIFA 19. Um, thank you to everybody on the channel for watching, and I'll see you guys in a video soon. Peace out.